Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new fragrance from Gallagher Fragrances, Behold Patchouli. If you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance, then keep watching. Now for transparency purposes, they did send me this fragrance as a gift. They didn't send it to review. He's always very generous that way. Um, he'll send fragrances for us to try, never asks us to review anything, never demands us to review everything. He's just like, here, try it. And I'm always super grateful for that. But I wanted to let you guys know where I got this bottle. Now, Behold Patchouli is a beautiful tribute to Patchouli. And I love the way that he tackled this really beautiful and sometimes intimidating note, especially in one that is so dominant. This fragrance has a lot, and I mean a lot of little nuances in to kind of summarize everything. You've got beautiful citruses, you have a bold patchouli, you have some tonka beans, some chocolate in there, you have frankincense, benzoin, sandalwood amber. There's a lot of different layers in this scent, but it all comes together to really show all the beautiful different attributes that patchouli can have. I think the best way I can describe this fragrance is a gourmand fragrance for people who do not like gourmands because I find that the chocolate and the orange are the most predominant notes in this scent and it brings out the citrusy side of patchouli but it also kind of brings out the rounded musky chocolatey nuances that sometimes patchouli can have too and I like how this is a beautiful marriage of the two without compromising the integrity of that patchouli note. This fragrance opens up bold and spiced it has some beautiful layers of woods in there, but that orange is center stage. Now he uses a lot of different citruses in here, but I could say that the fruitiness of this, because of the orange and the other citruses that were used, comes across as crisp, juicy, and also a little bit bitter, and that works really well with the chocolate. I like that this fragrance is not smooth or rounded, but it's not sharp or intimidating. It has a robustness to its body that I really enjoy on the skin and leaves a lasting impression in the air. If you're one of those people that is intimidated by patchouli scents, I normally would say patchouli bombs stay away from, but this is not scary in regards to the patchouli. It brings out all the best qualities that patchouli is known for, being a little bit citrusy, being a little bit green, being a little bit more rounded and smoky. There's so many different ways that patchouli can smell and this fragrance captures a lot of them in a very beautiful and appealing way. I like the fact that there's a smokiness to this fragrance and there's some aromatic woody qualities to it too. It has layers on your skin, but it's very linear as well. So it's not gonna open up one way and then in two hours, it's going to smell completely different and you're gonna wanna scrub it on your skin. Rather, the scent is very playful. Once you spray it on your skin, it's gonna be a little bit more orange in the opening and it dies down a little bit after the first few hours, but you still get that juicy fruitiness from that orange and the beautiful roundness of the chocolate. And then as you wear it throughout the day, you pick up little nuances here and there. You pick up the ender, amber, you pick up the sandalwood, you pick up the chocolate, you pick up the tonka bean. But it's just everything that you smell throughout the day and you might one hour smell this, then you might smell it 20 minutes later. It's just a really interesting and fun olfactive experience while at the same time smelling very attractive and I think very daring and very sexy. I also like the fact that this has Gallagher's unique take on scents. And I love seeing this idea of being playful, but also being very serious with how he tackles fragrances. And I'm comparing this to fragrances like Rosé All Day. I'm comparing this to fragrances like Wicked Good. You can see that point of view in this scent. So it's also a very cohesive fragrance within Gallagher's line, but it's still very unique and very daring at the same time. At the end of the day, I love patchouli and I love unapologetic patchouli fragrances. And this is definitely it. But at the same time, you have beautiful little roundness, chocolate, bitterness, juiciness, brightness. There's a lot going on in this scent. And I find it to be really beautiful and attractive and just fun to wear. It's also great for winter time. This fragrance has bones to it. 
So if it's cooler and crisper, but you don't want anything that's going to be too sweet, too bitter, too strong on the skin, but still is signature scent worthy, I think Behold Patchouli is just fantastic. It does have a beautiful lifespan on the skin. I get about six to eight hours with moderate projection and sillage, so it performs pretty well too. At the end of the day, Behold Patchouli has been a fantastic treat that I'm really excited to wear, and I think it's another ballpark hit out of the ballpark. I'm so bad at sports ball metaphors. Anyway, it's a great scent from Gallagher Fragrances and I've really been enjoying it. If you guys have had an opportunity to try Behold Patchouli, I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I love seeing this channel grow. And I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I will see you next time. Bye.